the president of the Ghana Journalist Association, Albert Jumfo, addressed the gathering, urging President Ekufuado to fulfill his promise to tackle illegal mining, commonly known as Galamsey, before the end of his term. Illegal mining, commonly referred to as Galamsey, is currently a topical issue in the country due to its devastating effect on the environment, particularly our water bodies, which serve as major sources of drinking water. My administration welcomes all stakeholders in the country who have condemned this devilish act and are calling for urgent steps to tackle the issue head on. Galamse has wrecked havoc on our environment and all our water bodies. As a Ghanaian, it saddens me to see once clean bodies of water turn a dark brown color. This is shameful, and we must all, as Ghanaians, wage a war against Galamse. We are aware that some time ago, Mr. President, the father of the nation, made a firm vow to stop Galamse. But regrettably, that promise has not been fulfilled, Mr. President. You are barely three months until the end of the administration, and we are hopeful that you will deal with the situation before you leave office. We still maintain that a state of emergency must be declared over our water bodies and all planned and active mining concessions overlapping with river buffers should be abrogated and all mining activities within 100 meters buffer of all rivers and streams should be halted with immediate effect. We also reiterate that LI-2462 should be repealed immediately. He also appealed to the government for the release of Democracy Hub protesters who had been denied bail and remanded into custody for two weeks over a demonstration against illegal mining. I want to commend the Ghana Police Service for exhibiting a high level of professionalism and restraint during that recent three-day protest against Galamsey by some citizens of this country. We note we, we note some excesses and provocations that occurred during the demonstration, and the DJ condemned these excesses in no uncertain terms. However, however, we also believe that remanding the protesters for two weeks is too extreme and does not send positive signals when it comes to protecting human rights. Our constitution mandates us to protect the human rights of citizens in this country. And as the president, I will lead that charge. As a result, we add our voice to, to calls on the government, police, and the judiciary to take steps to release the protesters immediately. In his speech, President Ikufuadu advised journalists to avoid spreading misinformation that could undermine the credibility of the electoral process. The main journalists have always been known for their tenacity and professionalism. And I have no doubt that you'll continue to lead the way in this new era. However, I must emphasize that we cannot allow ourselves to be swept away by the tide of sensationalism or clickbait journalism. The role of the journalist is to provide clarity, not confusion, to inform, not inflame. One of the most dangerous threats to our democracy today is the deliberate disinformation campaigns and the distortion of facts aimed at character assassination. Sadly, I'm not speaking of theoretical threats. I have been a victim of such vicious campaigns multiple times throughout my political career. The media must act as the gatekeepers of truth, helping our society distinguish fact from fiction and resisting the dangerous pool of sensationalism. Edward Adetti of the Media Without Borders was named as the Ghana Journalist Association PAV Ansa Journalist of the Year 2023 at the 28th GJA Media Awards Night. As Ghana approaches the December general elections, speakers at the 28th GJA Media Awards have emphasized the crucial role of media practitioners in ensuring peaceful elections through ethical journalism. Reporting for Channel One News from the Accra International Conference Center, my name is Ni Ayukwe Okai.